Yep, we're gonna go get a Jeep out of the bushes. Yeehaw! All right, here's the little Jeep. It's got a little snow plow on it, right, Tim? Yep. It's got this really cool little cab to it also. I don't know if it's gonna be any good or not, but. I tried to open it. What? The uh, window. Yeah, well, don't open the windows. I don't think they open. But anyways, yeah, here it is. We'll get it out of here soon. Okay, my nostrils here. Anyways, Tim is uh, pulling down the, uh, what are they? Ramp, ramp, ramps? Yes. It's a Willys. Yeah, a Willys. A very, very rusted Willys. Willys. God, that kid makes a lot of noise. Bondo and Willys. Bondo and steel. Um, yeah, me and Tim are going to get this thing off of here. And then we'll uh, give you a little bit of a, a tour around the new beauty. She came with a new 100,000 bumper and a bumper mile warranty. He promised me if anything goes wrong with it, he'd replace it. Brand new, free of charge. Anyways, we'll get it off of there. she don't look too bad there that's a cute little cab on there too anyway uh, story with the little cab is pretty simple it's a Sears and Roebuck cab it's aluminum um, you know nothing really super special but she's got 42,000 original miles on it uh, hoping that and we're gonna get it started. It has a heater in it too, so that's pretty cool. Um, an actual heater. Willie's Overland Incorporated, Toledo, Ohio, USA. One quarter ton, four wheel drive Jeep. Uh, yeah, really a cool little thing. Um, this is a CJ2A, I guess, or the M38A, I believe is what the military number is for it. Uh, the rumor is that it came off of an aircraft carrier uh, from Connecticut, or in Connecticut, or maybe, I don't know, something like that. Somebody latched the hood here. What the hell? Oh, God, you gotta be goddamn. Yeah, what did you do that for? Did you think that was gonna flop up? Yeah. Mm hmm. Where did you think we were going at 150,000 miles an hour? Okay, let's flip it up and see what kind of motor we got in here. This is a hurricane motor, I know. It was rebuilt. Uh, I know it was rebuilt about 200 miles ago. That's it. I believe 200 miles ago. Anyway, uh, I have no doubt in my mind that we will have this thing running yet today if Tim could get his head out of the oh, way. I'm trying to look. Anyway, here's the, uh, the sticker. I'm going to get some water on there. CJ2A. Um, yeah, that's the serial number. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a 1948. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is go get my skid steer, and I'm sure Tim is just dying to get it started because it's his. He bought it. Um, I'll help him get it back together somehow. Oh, it's got a really cool horn to it, too. This one actually has an original oil filter, I think. They said it was original. Who knows? It looks like a Fram to me. But anyways, me and Tim are going right now. Let's go, boy. Okay, like I was saying before, this thing was rumored to have been on an aircraft carrier. Uh, and to kind of back that up a little bit, you can see 
is blue. That blue color is, it's been painted over. That was the original color was that blue uh, on the hood and everything. Now this is, he put new fenders on it, so they're kind of like retarded color fenders. But if you look every once in a while, in a place, you can see there's, there's blue. You see blue down in there, there's blue. So this very well could have come off of an aircraft carrier. And the other reason is this guy. This is a spool and for rope and towing stuff with a spool. So that kind of leads me to believe that just maybe this did come off of an aircraft carrier. Got a couple spitters and sputters out of her. Um, I think we might have a couple of dead cylinders as far as the spark plugs go. So, anyway, we're just going to get her on the bottle here a bit. Go ahead. Give her a shot. Alright, hold on. I think I flooded it. Yeah. Yeah, I think this thing's been, uh, been asleep for a while, huh? stuff here. This is going to be cool if this thing just moves, you know. It's been sitting for, I think, what, 14 years? 12 or 14 years. Something like that. I think he said 12 or 14 years it sat in that spot. He just backed it in there and off it went. Good. Good, good, good. You're going to strip that out and you're going to have a real nightmare. I don't know if that, maybe that first plug has got dirt in it. I don't know. Take them off of the fenders there. Fire it up. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. As long as we got oil pressure, we're good. Pump it! Now hold it open. You got the uh, choke on or something? No. All right. Why don't she just hurt hers, don't you? Well, let's shut all this apparatus off. Oh, look at that. Rev her up a bit. Sounds like it's missing somewhere. Alright. Holy shit, we're moving. I can't believe it. You're in low. Yeah, it's in low. <laughs> Let's roll down the window, right? Straight up. Oh man, I think we even got heat in this thing. Woohoo! Any headlights? Oh, the brakes are on or something. Pull up on that brake pedal. Not that, I have the brake pedal. Go ahead and get her in gear. Screw that. There, we're going in high. Put her in first. Give her some gas. Don't let out on that clutch first. Oh, you stalled it. Hold it, hold it. Okay. Let out on the clutch. Maybe we'll get her in the low, low gear. Let me get the foot pedal. <laughs> it's a nighttime maiden run of the Jeep. Let out that clutch. There you go. Ah! I still shift though. Yeah. All right, we're rolling. Yeah. I only put a couple gallons of gas in this thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I got Tim strapping the load down, and I brought this up because I lost the holder from my cell phone and I parked the Jeep here for a second and all of a sudden just like a light switch coming on it started firing on all four cylinders it's still missing a little bit but I I kind of thought there was a stuck valve 
Uh, more than anything, I'm sure that it's a stuck valve. But uh, yeah, now it sounds. Well, I just wanted you to hear how nice she sounds when you rev her up now. It just really sounds great. The plow and everything works good. Now this is a regular R Peak special. I think he'd love this Jeep. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go down and pick Timothy up now. Boy, he'll be happy as hell to hear it running on all four. I just wish I could find my stupid cell phone gizmo.